Hello friends. Today I will tell you the story of Sergio Ramos, a Spanish stopper born on March 30, 1986, who is not only one of the best defenders in the world, but also very effective in offense with his critical head goals. Born on March 30, 1986 in Seville, Spain, Ramos's football adventure began with the support of his older brother and a bit of luck. Ramos's childhood dream was actually to become a matador, like many Spanish boys. However, his brother and mother discouraged him from becoming a matador, saying that it was too dangerous. Ramos describes these times as follows. I could have had a very different career, but my parents didn't want that. Sergio Ramos started playing soccer at an early age with the support of his older brother, playing in various positions as a right back, right stopper, left stopper, defensive midfielder, and defensive midfielder. He was a very ambitious and hardworking footballer, as his desire to be a matador was reflected on the football pitch, which is why he stood out among his peers. At the age of 14, Sevilla Academy director Pablo Bilanco had this to say about Ramos. Ramos is very ambitious. There is nothing like him in the youth teams. He is very good at right back, stopper, midfield, but I think he should play as a striker. Ramos, who could not be consistent until the age of 17 due to an injury he suffered in the U15 team, was promoted to the first team with a full goal in the U17 team. Until then, Ramos usually played at right back, but the presence of young stars Danny Alves and Jesus Navas meant that he didn't get many chances at the right back position. The manager would sometimes use him at right back and put him in front of Danny Alves. Sometimes he would move him to center back and use him at full back. During this period, Ramos went to school at night and trained in the morning, but his school life was not as good as football. The school principal complained to Ramos's parents. His parents then asked him a very critical question, school or soccer? With the support of his older brother, René, Ramos chose soccer and dropped out of school. In 2004, Spain won the European Championship in the U19 category and received its first trophy. In his second season with Sevilla, the 19-year-old made 45 appearances, starting against China and wearing his first national team jersey. He was also named La Liga Player of the Year this season. 2.05 In the summer of 2005, at the age of 18, he transferred to another club for 27,000 euros. However, this season there were some transfers of young stars, such as the transfer of Robinho. As Ramos's transfer fee was higher than the others, the expectations were very high. In his first El Clasico match, he faced Ronaldinho, who was playing in his prime, but unfortunately he put in a mediocre performance and Ronaldinho embarrassed Ramos a bit. His style of play was called very tactical, rather aggressive and ambitious. He received seven red cards in his first three seasons at Real Madrid, but the fans were really into him. He was aggressive, passionate, fast, tireless, brave, and strong, not afraid of injury. At 184 meters tall, he was slightly below other defenders, but he was very effective in the air with his tactics and finishing. 2-0-7-2-4-0-8 season, he won his second La Liga title. In the 2.010 World Cup, they managed to close their goal in the last four games and won their first World Cup title. In Euro 2.012, they continued their performance in the World Cup. In the 14th season, when Ancelotti came to the team, although he had a good stopper duo with Pepe, this season, the star of La Liga was at Atletico Madrid. However, they performed well in the Champions League and reached the final. Real Madrid, paired with Atletico in the final, were trailing by 1-0 until the 93rd minute. But there was one thing they forgot, Sergio Ramos. His header sent the match into extra time, and in extra time, Real Madrid took the Champions League trophy from Atletico. Between the 2.014 and 2.018 seasons, they won the Champions League three times in a row. In 2.010, the only goal came from the General Boston in a match that lasted one-sixth of an hour, and they won the Champions again on penalties. In the 16-17 season, they won the La Liga title with a last-minute goal. In the 2.019-2.020 season, Ramos played 44 matches 
and scored 13 goals, becoming the top scorer after Benzema. Sergio Ramos, who was like a son of Florentino Perez, had to leave Real Madrid, even though he declared that he would not be short of money. Real Madrid, who were restructuring their new team, no longer thought of him. He went to Paris like Messi and Neymar. Ramos played here for two seasons and still shows his class, even though he is 35 years old. In the 2.023-2.024 season, he returned to Sevilla, the club where he started football for a very low price. With 180 appearances for the national team, Ramos is the player with the most appearances in Europe. He is one of only 19 players in Real Madrid's history to reach 100 goals, but of those 19, Sergio Ramos is the only stopper. He is the player with the most yellow cards with 260. He also stands out with 26 red cards. Selected 10 times by FIFA and 8 times by UEFA in the 11 of the year between 2.08-2.019, Ramos is a truly unique footballer. I tried to describe Ramos's life with my own interpretations. No one wants to play against such a footballer, but everyone wants such a footballer in their team. Sergio Ramos is a really special footballer. He has more goals than most strikers. He is fearless and brave. I don't know if there will ever be another footballer like him, but his soccer was really fun to watch. If you want similar content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications. If there is a soccer player you want, you can specify in the comments. Take care and see you soon.